Ahora para el final de este show Una entrevista con Tim Gallagher eh, La persona que ayudó a organizar mucho De este gran evento de Nissan 360 So Tim, coming up to an end here on Nissan 360 The, the third uh, edition of this massive, massive event uh, It's just amazing what uh, Nissan can do I mean, it's... I mean, tell us some numbers about it Because it's really impressive More than I don't want to say it I want you to tell us the numbers I mean, very factual It's... it's, it's Huge. Yes, it's it's very huge. Whenever you import this many cars of, of uh, the diverse nature of the products that we have here, it's a logistical challenge. I think we have 140 to 160 cars involved in the program. We're here over 30 days, and over 30 days we'll probably have around 1,400 people that will host here at Nissan 360 in El Toro. Yeah. Uh, going back to the vehicles, so you have you bring cars from all the plants around the world. So that's China, that's Thailand, that's Mexico, obviously North America. With South cars South here. Africa, the UK, uh, around the world. Uh, and so there's a, lo a lot of uh, right type cars to, to drive. Right. Uh, there's taxis. The, ta the Japanese taxis are super cool. Right. It's it right. like a long line for that car. Yep. Um, And, and that gives the opportunity for Nissan to show off uh, more than in the auto show, because the auto shows, you get that limited space and time. Here, right. you can really expand yeah. your, uh, the offer, right? Yeah, it's funny you say the auto show, because, you know, normally when we go to an auto show, most customers know that we'll debut one or maybe yeah. two cars. But here, it's everything. And so you look around and you see all of the concept cars that we have here. There are premium cars that we've debuted at different shows throughout the world. So yeah. we have a China concept car here. We have a Brazilian concept car here. We have a Datsun Go that debuted in India. We have a Resonance car that debuted in uh, New York. And um, so really it's the best of everything. It's kind of like a best hits album for uh, you know a music group that's been around for 50 years. Well, for in your case, 80 years, right? Uh, that's <laughs> right. In, in this case, our 80th anniversary. You're exactly uh, right. Really amazing. And um, so... Tell me also about um, how does this come together? I mean, this is the third, uh, third edition. It came around 2000, I think. Uh, right. The first one in San Francisco. Yep. Then Portugal. Why did Nissan decide to do this? Well, I think uh, back in 2000, we were um, kind of resurging as a brand. We were kind of reinventing ourselves as a brand. And it was an opportunity to kind of roll out and tell people about us. It was sort of our open house. Yeah. It, was our, um, it was our way to express where we were going from a business standpoint uh, as a company and kind of what we had on the table at that point. And then you kind of move forward, fast forward to Portugal, and obviously change had started happening with the company. We had made some dramatic product decisions, and I think in Portugal we featured the GTR. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, to kind of stress that we're a very serious car company. We had very uh, serious capabilities, and we had a, a game plan for the future. So now you fast forward another four years, and the event has really mirrored the brand of the company. Because, as you said, you look around and you look at our infinity footprint at 360 this year, it's a very dynamic oh, yeah. footprint, very completely dynamic, different, vehicle, yeah. completely different from nine years ago. If you compare the footprints of the two events, you'll know what I'm talking about, because, you, you know, infinity hardly was even represented nine years ago at this event. And even now in you, Portugal, I remember it was the GT, the G37 convertible, right, the silhouette right. of it that we saw. But now we've grown to such proportions with the Infinity brand, and now you, of course, have taxis, you have uh, zero emissions vehicles, you have Red Bull racing cars, you have Ziad race cars. Um, There are just so many stories to tell, it's almost too much to tell yeah. in yeah. many ways. But in, in a way, I mean, as the GTR was the star, let's say, of uh, the Center 60 in Portugal, now the Leaf is kind of, of the star now. Pretty much the, the, them, uh, right? uh, the Leaf, but specifically I'd say the autonomous driving cars is what we really focused on here. We made the worldwide announcement of that car. We've got demonstrations going on for all 30 days of city, highway, and parking demonstrations. It's unbelievable technology, and everybody that it has experienced it, 360 is really amazed by the technology. So autonomous driving and where that's going and the leadership role we want to take 
has really taken a front seat at 360. So the next 360, you won't need drivers then? <laughs> we will come to this. <laughs> I, I'm saying that we should go to Brazil, um, and but I just want to be a visitor. I don't I don't really want to work on coordinating it. I just want to enjoy the event. Well, I think Nissan has big plans for Brazil in 2018. It might be a little bit be, too much. That's they're, right. They're going to have the Olymp they're going to be the official uh, vehicle provider for the Olympics, right? right? Well, the Olympic analogy is pretty funny. We, Of course, we are integrated with the Brazil Olympics, but this is starting to feel like the Olympics uh, <laughs> to a lot of us that work on the event because it's growing in size. It is international. It is global. And I think it says a lot about the company that we really view this event as a global event. And... Um, It's 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 been a lot of fun to see how it grows well, each year, uh, and uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun for me and uh, for all the other participants. I'm sure very informative, very productive. I have to say because like so many stories to tell, as you said. So congratulations. Uh, I know it's been a lot of work. Uh, you're gonna be tired, but you're gonna be rest <laughs> very happy when you send yeah. it. Right? Yeah, I think uh, all of us. You know, some people that have been with the company a quite a long time and have seen 360 this year have dropped us emails and. Um, There's a lot of pride that comes out in what you see here if you're an employee because you really realize the dynamic nature of the organization and you see it all in front of you. So there's a lot of pride, but I'm 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 going to sleep pretty well uh, when we're <laughs> well, finished. Uh, if so, if it's the Nissan Olympics, you win all the gold medals. So ah, thank you very much. Thank you. Así que esta fue la edición especial de Auto 060 en Nissan 360 en California. Muchas gracias a todo el equipo de Nissan Motor Company aquí en Estados Unidos. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.